travel hacks and I get asked to do a video about this all the time. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a thumbs up. If you guys watch my vlog channel or you follow me on Instagram you would maybe know that I travel very very frequently so I feel like over the past couple years that I have been traveling a ton I have definitely figured out some good tips. So I wanted to combine all of my favorites into one video and also some other ones that I actually haven't tried but as I was filming I was like this is a really good idea. So hopefully you guys like this video. I also want to give a shout out to Neutrogena. They are sponsoring today's video so make sure you guys check out their links down below. And that is all for this intro so let's go ahead and get into my top favorite travel hacks. <laughs> My first hack is to pack neutrals so that you can mix and match a whole bunch of different outfits together. I normally like to avoid packing things that are like crazy colorful printed because those things you can't really pair with a lot of other items. So if you just have a suitcase full of neutrals, you can mix and match together every single piece and create a lot more outfits than you could with a bunch of colorful crazy pieces. Hack number two is to bring a laundry bag. This is something I like to make sure that I do, especially if I have like sweaty workout gear with me or wet swimsuits and stuff. I just like to have a separate bag for those dirty clothes so that they don't get all over my clean clothes and make them smelly. Hack number three is to take advantage of the storage that is inside of your shoes. So I usually pack like my underwear in here and my socks in here or like little pajama shirts or whatever I can fit in there really. You played it cool. You can also use socks to store more fragile items if you bring like perfume or cologne, kind of anything that's just like glass so you can use your socks to help protect it. Someone's gotta pay for my next hack is to bring my Neutrogena Light Therapy Acne Spot Treatment. This has clinically proven light therapy to help fight acne fast so you can treat pimples as soon as you feel them without any itching or burning and it's really portable so you can use it anytime, anywhere like in an airplane or in the back of a taxi and it's also mess free. You also want to protect your makeup, so something that I like to do is take a little cotton pad and just stick this inside of my compacts because I've had so many things break over all of my trips. It is really sad, so this is a hack that helps with that. Oh, let me carry you. My next hack is one of my current favorites, and it is to store your bobby pins in a Tic Tac case. I always lose mine, so just doing this little hack helps to keep track of them. Oh, let me carry you. Another hack you can do is put a binder clip on your razor to help make sure that you don't accidentally like reach in your bag and slice your fingers or something. I'm always really scared of that, so this hack is helpful. Next, you guys can bring an oven mitt with you to put your curling iron in. This way, if you're like leaving your hotel and packing and it's still hot, you can just slip it in here and you're good to go. Another hack is to use a contact lenses case to bring small amounts of products like face lotion or foundation or concealer or really you can put anything in here. I just did this on my last trip and it's so convenient because you really only need small amounts of these products and they fit perfectly right in here. My next travel hack is to use a straw to organize your jewelry. I normally just throw my jewelry in my bag and then half the time it like gets lost and I can't find it. So if you just use these straws, then you won't have that problem. This is seriously the best hack ever. I haven't done this before, but I'm definitely doing it on my next trip. <laughs> My next hack is to roll up your headphones and secure them with a binder clip. My headphones always get so tangly, so this is an easy way to just keep them a little bit more organized. This next thing isn't really a hack, but it's more just a tip that you need to know if you're traveling internationally, and that is to bring an adapter with you. I did not know when I first went out of the country that other places have different kinds of outlets, so if you bring one of these with you, then you should be good to go, and you can charge all of your stuff and not worry about it. 
so this next hack is such an important one and it is to break up your flights because a lot of the time you can get a better deal for example I went to Greece for spring break so if I search a flight from my hometown to Greece it says like three four five six thousand dollars but if I search from Las Vegas which is the nearest major airport to London we actually found flights for six hundred dollars right now they're showing like 767 but you can find cheaper ones sometimes and then if you search from London to Santorini you can find tickets for about two hundred dollars so overall you're paying less than a thousand dollars for a flight instead of the three thousand if you search for the trip altogether so basically you just want to see if booking separate tickets can help you get a cheaper flight this next tip goes along with traveling internationally always have a pen with you so that you can fill out customs forms on the plane and avoid the lines to fill them out after you get off the plane if you guys are ever on a trip and you forget this little square thing that goes on the end of your charger, you can just plug in your USB to your TV. This is like the best shot of my TV I could get because it's mounted against the wall. But there's a USB back there and you can use that to charge your phone. So my next hack is to make a little DIY TV out of a baggie and your phone. You can just hang this on the back of your tray table. And a lot of airlines nowadays, if they don't have TVs, they have online entertainment on an app that's free to use. You don't need Wi-Fi or anything. So you can just hang this up and watch the airplane movies. My next hack is one of my favorites. I just discovered this and I think it's awesome. And it is to go on Skyscanner and type in the word everywhere. So basically, if you could get like a cheap flight to London or something, you can search everywhere on here and then see all of the different places that they fly for super super cheap so you can see you can go to Ireland for like $30 or Italy for 36 this is a super cool hack if you're trying to kind of fly on a budget and you can of course do this in the US too my next hack is to take an empty water bottle through security with you at the airport and then just fill it up at the drinking fountain afterwards this way you can save money and not have to buy a brand new bottle of water because we all know at the airport water is like $400 also you should take a screenshot of your flight information and also a picture of the inside page of your passport and then save this to iBooks on your phone so that you have an offline copy because if you're traveling internationally a lot of the time your phone is not going to have service so if you need to access your flight information or lose your passport or something it's good to have an offline copy on your phone so you can access it with no internet also a new hack I recently discovered is to bring a thing of instant oatmeal with me on the plane so that I can just ask for a cup of hot water and make my own breakfast if I didn't have time between like a short layover or if I couldn't find anything healthy. Also, this is another tip. So two of my favorite apps to use are Yelp and TripAdvisor. This is always how I find different places to eat and different things to do. There's tons of options, it has reviews, and these are just two of my go-to apps to use on trips. The next hack is to use an incognito window when searching for flights. I've mentioned this before, but I used it the other day and it literally saved me like so much money. So basically you are going to just use an incognito slash secret window to browse for flights. A lot of the time it's going to pull up cheaper flight options. And when I used it the other day, I was booking a flight kind of last minute and it was only showing me like three options on a regular tab. But on the secret window, it showed me a whole bunch more and they were way, way, way cheaper. So definitely use a private window when searching and and you guys are going to save a ton of money. It's kind of hard to get like footage of this because it's kind of like hit or miss, but most of the time it's a hit. Another hack to get cheap flights is to follow different accounts on Instagram like flightsfromhome.slc. Um, this is for Salt Lake, but they also have like Las Vegas and a lot of other options. I think they have like LAX, but basically they just post about a ton of different deals and you can literally get flights to like Italy or something for $400. That's what I did the other day and it's freaking awesome. <laughs> Then my last tip is to go on Pinterest and search up free things to do in wherever you're going. This is always how I plan my itinerary, whether I'm looking for free things to do or just popular things to do. Pinterest is my go-to resource for planning an itinerary for my trip, just to make sure that I don't miss anything that I want to see. So those are all of my favorite travel hacks. Comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite. And also, if you guys have any other ones that I missed, leave those down below too. Don't forget to check out Neutrogena. Their links are in the description box. And I think that is all for me today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did. I feel like I say the same thing in every outro. Also, let me know what video you guys want to see next week. And I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.